Hi, I'm Starbuck and I'm an early years teacher. Here are 10 tips from the chalk face. My first tip is to make a picture using sandpaper and scented candles. You can get sample candles which are much smaller that the children can hold. As long as they're scented they can draw straight onto the sandpaper and they create such wonderful pictures of them. It makes a great display and it's a really nice talking point when people are standing and smelling the different pictures. If you're doing a craft activity which involves lots of glue and paint or involves lots of water and sand and you don't have any covers, rather than pay out a lot of money for covers, if you look for a shower curtain in a supermarket or Ikea or Asda, they're much cheaper. If you want to enhance your Play-Doh, a nice twist is to add some Angel Delight. It will add a great new sensory experience to it. If you want any other information about Play-Doh, you can visit Alistair Bryce Clegg's website where he has some free recipes that you can use with Play-Doh. Just remember, if you add extra smells to the Play-Doh, some children will try and eat it. If you have a school piano but you're not sure how to play it, follow this simple tip. Okay, to start with, to play a simple pentatonic scale, you could just use the black notes. As long as you keep a note apart, it will usually sound good. I'm a big fan of book bags that include characters to go alongside the stories that you're learning about. Here I've got Mog the Cat to go with the Mog stories. I have the tiger from the tiger who came to tea. And I have the owl from the owl babies. The children love reenacting the stories and by putting them in the book corner during free flow, it really encourages the children to visit the other books in that area and discuss the stories in detail. You might even get some of the more reluctant readers in your class visiting that area. Tip number six, think about adding to your construction numbers, letters, words, pictures and photographs stuck onto the side of the blocks. It's a nice different talking point for the children and it's a variation on reading. If you're doing junk modelling and you find that the paint is not sticking to the box, encourage the children to invert the box first, stick it together with masking tape and then you should find that the paint sticks. Here's one I made earlier. I really enjoy introducing a topic or theme with a letter from a famous character. This letter here I wrote is from Willy Wonka, inviting the children to build a new room in his chocolate factory. If you take photos of the children's activities during the day, Try and assign some time at the end of the day to review the learning that has taken place. If you use a visualizer app, you can actually stream the photographs from the tablet onto the large whiteboard to accompany the children's stories and recall of their learning during the day. This app works with a lot of different types of computers and tablets. Making books with the children is very exciting and this app here is a digital version that allows you to add pictures, photographs and writing. If you assign each child a page, they can then share it with the other children. You can save this as a PDF and print it. It's a great opportunity to find out about their interests. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this video with your friends on social media. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.